All right, now, it is a saying that leaders are often forged in a crisis. But what happens if your leader is incapacitated during a generation-defining crisis? Now, that's pretty much the situation that Britain currently finds itself in. Their Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, is in hospital as the country is tackling the coronavirus outbreak. Now, interestingly, this is not the first time that a British leader is out of action during a time of crisis. Our correspondent, Anila Chaudhary, gets us this report from London. These are certainly unprecedented times. Globally, people have been affected by the coronavirus. That includes Britain's Prime Minister. Boris Johnson has spent three nights in the intensive care unit at St Thomas's Hospital in London. He was moved out of ICU last night, but remains in hospital. However, albeit uncertain times, this is not the first time a figurehead of the nation has fallen ill. In 1918, during the Spanish flu, David Lloyd George suffered a sore throat. This turned into a fully fledged flu and he was put on a ventilator for a week. This was kept quiet from the nation. In July 1953, Sir Winston Churchill suffered a stroke and that too was kept quiet. The UK political system is not the only one to try to be so discreet about such news. Bernie Sanders had a heart attack last year during the race to become the Democrat candidate in the US presidential election. But his team did not immediately tell the press. Hillary Clinton's press secretary admitted handling the news of her pneumonia badly in 2016. Governments often restrict information so to not cause alarm or look weak in the face of opposition. While the nation has had more cause for worry due to the number of deaths rising each day due to coronavirus, the majority of people have sent the Prime Minister well wishes, including to his pregnant girlfriend Carrie, who has also tested positive for COVID-19. One commentator here suggested that the opposition leader, a new leader of the Labour Party, Sir Keir Starmer, should take control of the government, but that was met with lots of opposition. At the moment, Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab is deputising and the government has said that Boris Johnson is improving and in good spirits. But with it being Good Friday, the government is going to want to ensure that wild spirits and free spirits are not roaming freely. People are being urged to stay at home and obey the lockdown rules this Easter weekend. The weather is forecast to be around 25 degrees Celsius, which is high by UK standards. But police forces are warning they will crack down on those who can't resist the temptation of roaming freely. Lockdown measures were announced on the 23rd of March for three weeks. Since then, we've seen a ban on public gatherings of more than two people, school closures and the closure of shops selling non-essential goods. The government has said that after that three-week period, they will review the rules, and that's due to happen next week. But with Wales already extending their lockdown, it looks like the rest of the UK will follow suit. The Culture Secretary, Oliver Dowden, has said that it's starting to see, and starting to seem like the measures are working, but we have to stick with it. Anila Chowdhury, We On, World Is One.